Welcome to 4.7's Math Moment. Today, students learned about multiplying with decimals. We're going to look at example number one, which says 13 times 8 tenths. Just to go ahead and multiply this traditionally, I'm going to take 3 times 8, which is 24, put my 4 down, carry my 2. I know 1 times 8 is 8, plus 2 more is 10. Now, we've ignored the decimal up until this point, but now we need to go back and put it back in. This is a really important step to remind your fifth grader to go back and put that decimal in. Otherwise, our answer is 104, which doesn't seem reasonable when I take 13 times 8 tenths. Now, to pop that decimal back in, what you're going to do is go to the very end of the number, pop over one spot, go to the very end of the number, pop in one spot. So my answer becomes 10 and 4 tenths, which is much more reasonable when we're looking at this problem. Example number two leads us to word problems. This word problem says, Jack is selling cupcakes for $1.50 at a bake sale. He sells 73 cupcakes. How much money does Jack make? Okay, well I know from this problem, I have each cupcake is going to cost um, $1.50 and he sells 73. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this problem up here. So I have, have $1.50 per cupcake and he sells 73 of them. I'm going to go ahead and multiply traditionally with this problem as well. I know 0 times 3 is 0, 5 times 3 is 15, carry my 1, 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 more is 4. I'm going to go ahead and put my 0 down for my placeholder because I've multiplied by my 1's, erase this, 0 times 7 is 0, 5 times 7 is 35, and I have 1 times 7 which is 7 plus 3 more is 10. Now I need to simply add these numbers up. Okay, and I need to go back into my problem because I've ignored the decimal up until this point, but now I need to go back and put it back in. I'm going to hop over one, two spots, one, two spots. So Jack is going to make $109.50. So my label in this case is going to just be my dollar sign because it says how much money does Jack make? If you have any questions about today's lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.